Hey guys, so I just set this Inkbird ITC 306T. Ah, pretty nice unit, it was only 25 bucks on sale on Amazon. And uh, you can plug in two heaters, which I have. There's one down on the sump over there, and then there's one in the main display tank. You can even um, calibrate it, um, you can check the heat of your tank with the, with another thermometer or anything. And, uh, then calibrate it if it's plus or minus any degrees. I'll show you where. So you can set your temp, that's your standard temp that you wanted at. And then you can set it so it kicks on when it's within at that temp or one degree. So now if it drops down to 78, it should kick on because I've at one degree. And um, here's how you calibrate it. So it was one and a half degrees off. You can do this in Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can even set this thing to have two different temperatures, but here it is Fahrenheit, because I'm in the US. And then you can have a two different temps, a timer, for when it switches over daytime temperature and evening temperature. The other thing which I recently set up was the Milwaukee pH probe. You can, uh, the probe is in the tank. Uh, right there, you can see the probe going down there. Um, calibrated it, calibrated it was pretty easy. Uh, you can have it set so above or below and you can plug in, which I haven't done yet because uh, my alkalinity is so little too high to run the um, elk washer. So I'm waiting for the alkalinity to drop down a little bit. Now I'm gonna start running the calc washer um, to keep it at 8.5. So what I have right now is when it, if it were plugged in, when it drops below eight, it would, uh, the pH, it would, um, it would kick on and it would dose your alkalinity and calcium, increasing the pH. However, right now my alkalinity is still at 9.1. So I can't run this yet or I would be increasing the alkalinity way too much. So we'll get there once, uh, once my alkalinity drops down a little bit.